Hello and welcome to another short video where I'm going to show you how to detrend the time series. Well, basically detrend means to remove the trend from your time series. Probably you are calculating a certain sort of statistical metrics that that have nothing to do with the general behavior of the of, of, of the time series. I mean the trend whether it's, it's decreasing or increasing. Um, maybe you are just interested in the fluctuation, like maybe uh, interannual or interseasonal or interdecadal fluctuation. You just want to know when the value is 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 uh, is positive and when it's negative, and you just want to see like the the differences from the mean of the time series. And that's especially if you are calculating correlation coefficient. For example, you, you may not need to have like the raw time series uh, with it is trend where it's positive positive or negative you may just need to to see how like two time series like behaving um, together at the same time in that case is 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 quite like advisable to detrend your time series though to get a, a perfect values for your correlation coefficient um, if your file is uh, if you have the time series, I recommend you to use MATLAB. And if you have a NetCDF file, maybe in that case you can use uh, CDO as I will show you in a second. So in MATLAB you can you can type for example anything A equals then you put open brackets and open from here and then paste your time series. In that case uh, I have this time series which the precipitation of August in my country for each year. Uh, I'll paste it here, and if I plot it, if I say plot A, you see the time series, it's quite obvious. There's a, a trend line here. You may check it by tools and basic fitting. You can put a linear trend or linear fitting here. You see that there is a, a, a positive trend during this period so I won't remove this trend what I can do is there's a provided function you can say you can call it anything let me call it y equals d trend a so you get here your time series and it's detrend it's 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 quite obvious there's some values in negative and some values in positive so to check where your time series is yeah. is detrended or not you can you can plot you can plot y instead of instead of a and you can see here you can check in tools sorry linear I can see here that the linear trend or the trend there's no trend or the trend equals zero in, in, in this case so this is how you can do it if you have your file in a text format or you have a time series with the values of each month, each year, each day, each ticket, or whatsoever. Um, if your file is an HCDF file, like the, the, the file that I have here, in that case, you may use CDO in order to, to detrend. The function is, is, is the same. You can say CDO detrend file. My file name is file. And the output file we call it the trended file dot nc. Let me check first the first file. So this is my file here, it's raw file, and if I if I plot this file in Excel. This is the mean value that I'm interested in. If I plot and I put the linear trend, uh, I'll see that there is a, a negative trend in this line here, right? So, so if I want to open the the the, the file after detrending it and copy these values.
and this is the main value. Then if you plot it and you put the trend, you find that the trend equals zero. So these are the two ways that you can use to detrain your file, whether your file is an LCDF or CSV file or text file. Um, I hope you find the video useful. Thank you for watching.